Hello, welcome to Curriculum Night 2020. Um, I am Cindy Hagen, and this is for robotics class, which this year is for eighth graders. So a little bit about me, this is my seventh year at iTech. It's my 25th year teaching. Um, I also am the advisor for iTech Robotics, which is our competition robotics team. Um, I am the camp director for Girls Lead the Way, which is an all-girls engineering and robotics camp for incoming sixth through eighth graders. Um, I love hiking, uh, particularly in the redwoods, the ocean, pretty much anything in the ocean, uh, but really enjoy boogie boarding, uh, reading, doing puzzles, uh, playing games, frisbee, uh, you name it. I like to be active. So learning is a process. Uh, to summarize uh, something that Honda said, success is 99% failure, and we are going to fail a lot in this class. And that's okay, because that is how we learn and that's how we improve things. So general objectives in robotics, understanding how automation and robotics impact society, understanding and using the design process to solve problems, and project management. Programming using Robot C, which is a C-based language. Collaborating with others to solve problems. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging uh, in remote learning, uh, but we will see what we can do. And applying STEM concepts to solve technical uh, challenges. So our first project is Robots All Around. Um, students are going to be researching a robot of their choice in one of uh, six main areas. They're gonna determine the impact that a robot has on society, research and summarize the information, and present the information in a clear and concise way. Then we're going to be doing the parade of books. Students are going to be learning about gear mechanisms, practicing the design process, and this is going to be in collaboration with English language arts. And we'll have the survivor challenge, where students are also going to be applying their knowledge of gear mechanisms and the design process and uh, they're gonna be applying their knowledge of gear mechanisms and the design process uh, to uh, solve a task. Then we get into automation and students are gonna be learning about different set, uh, sensors, learning to use progr uh, programming using Robot C, and again, focusing a lot on the design process. This is a career and technical education class, and so we will be focusing on 21st century skills during this class, uh, critical thinking and problem solving, collaboration, adaptability, initiative and communication um, are key in those areas. Some things that you need to be aware of, we do some really big projects in robotics, which means there are gonna be fewer standards in jump rope. Um, so students need to do well on projects and re redo things in the time frame listed because they'll have to disassemble their builds. Um, so they won't be able to readdress that until the next time uh, we address that standard. And because the projects are so long, um, that mean it may have, the, the readdressment may happen after uh, a grading period. So students wanna make sure that they're doing well. Um, that there aren't gonna be as many opportunities. Like in math, you might have you know eight to 12 opportunities to show on a standard. Uh, you might have one or two uh, in robotics class. Um, we also have limited materials and it's gonna be really uh, challenging this year uh, with students working from home. They're each gonna get a kit uh, that will have some basic materials. Um, but normally if we're here in the classroom, they're able to modify materials um, and things like that, and they won't have access to those uh, when they're at home. So uh, it's gonna, we're, we're just gonna have to be a little bit more creative. This will make uh, use of the design process even more, uh, more important. If you need to contact me for any reason, um, email is the best way to reach me. Um, I have a couple of different classrooms spaces that I'm in, um, and sometimes they're doing work in those classroom spaces, in which case I have to be in other areas of the building, so I'm not always by a phone. Um, but if you uh, reach out to me via email, um, I will get back to you. Thank you very much. Please email me any questions.